Good day, beautiful souls. This is Isis, and I help people alter their realities by enhancing their vibrational frequencies. So today I was going to talk about never give up. So never give up is an important mantra to make. So it was something that I used to do with my students every single day for over one year. I did the same mantra three to five times, depending on how many classes I had on a daily basis, seven days a week. So I pretty much mastered that one. Uh, one of them was never give up. And um, it really helped to reprogram my mind. So if you do mantras, doing them repetitiously, multiple times a day, something that's really, really fun that you like, that has a rhythm to it, that would be an ideal method for you. Um, now what I found was that uh, one of my friends called me today and was like, hey, what's up? How you doing? Blah, blah. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's this gibbous Pisces moon, which is giving me a mind F-U-C-K. I'm just really in like a bad way with this gibbous Pisces moon at the moment. And I just want to give up on this whole ideology of manifestation it is the way to the new life Doo -doo -doo. you know what i said that's just stupid because manifestation is happening at all times all the time and all the time and therefore it's always taking place so the difference is do you do it from your conscious mind or from your subconscious mind how are you going to do it how are you going to live it so that's the uh that's the main thing when it comes to manifestation and never giving up. And he, he was like, yeah, never give up. Yep, yep, I got it, never give up. Okay, so on that aspect also, um, just take a look around you. What are the mantras that you're saying to yourself? Saying, money is hard for me to make. Is that your mantra? Let's give up on that one shall we? So I have to check my dog. Why is he standing around? Oh, you can check on Jeannie as well. Here he is. Jeannie! Hello! I'm so handsome! Yes, I don't know if you could see him. <laughs> um, so, never give up. Look around you. What is your mantra of the day? I am filled with prosperity and abundance and my whole life has meaning my life has purpose I am here for a reason what is your mantra for the day is it more than that okay because the reality is I would say 99.8 percent of all manifestors who are light workers could give a fuck about the prosperity aspect we just don't care because there's so much more to everything than owning things that don't belong to your human construct when you are in the grave because you're not even from here so <laughs> that's one reason that you know uh, <laughs> some people are like well I am not seeing the prosperous abundance of which I would like and therefore I lack and I am abundantly lacking in the things that I would like. Yes, because you don't see value in that. So it's about where do you place your value? Um, so for example, as a light worker, your true value is how can I help humanity how can I embrace those who are in lack of any capacity and bring them to a higher source when I look at things from that angle then it totally changes my construct if for example Bill Gates has more of we'll say financial prosperity he does a lot for people that lack but they still lack they didn't grow abundance and it's not his fault it's not because he didn't 
offer or help or do more. It's literally just because, hold one second, okay. It's literally just because they are in that mantra, in the lack mantra. They're in the, I don't have it, I don't need it, it's not important to me. Uh, oh, I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. So, yeah, my dog's name is Jeannie, which would mean to wish, to wish, to wish. But I didn't name him that on the aspect of, I will make a wish and he will make it come true. I did it on the aspect of, he has already made my wishes come true. Therefore, he's a genie. Um, it's a little bit different on the way of looking at things. And that's the way you want to look at your desires of life. Have you recreated your desire to want more because you already have it? Or do you want more because you don't have it? Hmm. Let's think on that one. Do I want more because I do have it or do I want more because I don't have it? And if I have more, what am I going to do with it? And once we hit the sweet spot of grand abundance, all you do is give, give, give. See, the giver always receives. That's the gift of giving. As you've heard many times on the Christmas Carol, giving is receiving. So remember that. The more you have, the more you give, the more generous you are, the more you receive. I wish you all a beautiful day.